I'm out here slaving away on this truck and look at this thing. He's just sitting there being a goofball. Yeah. Yeehaw. All right, so today I went and scoured around the junkyard and I was able to come up with these nice uh, weatherproof connectors here. And um, this one actually has 14 different pins that I can choose from. And what I'm going to use this one for is I'm going to splice one end of the harness into the LS harness here and this other end of the harness into the OBS harness here. So when it comes time to integrate them two, you know, obviously the engine harness will be draped am uh, among the engine and the uh, truck harness will be strung out through the truck. So in order to simplify the installation and make it to where if I ever have to service anything or remove the engine and harness or whatever like that, it'll just be a simple matter of unplugging a couple of plugs here. I also grabbed these two other plugs here and the reason I went with these is because I like how they got you know nice thick gauge wire going through them and they're nice and weatherproof. So I think I'm going to use these ones here for like the key hots and maybe even integrate one of these wires in with this uh, starter circuit here. But these plugs I was able to wrangle out from underneath the hood of like a, I think it was like a Buick Park Avenue or something like that. It was literally just sitting right on top of the motor there. And these here came out of the, underneath the hood of a Saturn. Yeah, a couple of old Saturns and they were going to like a big, well it looked like a blower motor of some sort underneath the hood. So anyway, I just saw that fat daddy wire and I was like, oh man, that'll work great. So grab those and like I said now all I got to do is just you know, kind of solder and integrate these into these and this into this and then when it comes time to plug in everything in I'll just be able to plug it in like that and fire it up so figured I'd point that out to you guys all right so I got both of the harnesses on the bench here that's for the truck this is for the engine now as far as this park neutral safety switch stuff goes this is for the LS harness and this is the truck harness and in the truck harness this goes to this firewall plug here and I believe it does nothing more than just let the uh, you know instrument cluster know that you're in park, reverse, neutral or drive and whatnot. And it does the same thing in the LS application although it also sends a couple of signals to the PCM to allow it to know what gear it's in. So if I'm reading correctly, what I have to do is I have to splice this harness in with this harness here. You can't really remove one or the other. You have to kind of integrate them both in order to keep the uh, you know gear selector on the dashboard working and the PCM happy. So my solution for that is this old oxygen sensor plug that I'm not using. I'm just going to go ahead and splice these wires in with the LS harness here and then this other end here for the truck harness. I'm just going to lop this plug off here and just splice that in with this plug here. That way when it comes time to merging the two harnesses I'll just be able to just simply plug that in and all that stuff will work just fine. Alright so I got one end of the plug spliced in I'm just got to go ahead and solder it up. Alright, so I got both of the plugs soldered up. Now when it comes time to plugging them in, all I got to do is plug this one into the transmission. Plug this one into this plug here. And it will be like they're both plugged into the same transmission. So this one will feed the gear selector on the dashboard and this one will feed the PCM. So all is good with the world and hopefully that will work. I don't know, it seems like a simple solution. I thought about rerunning all of this wiring back and up through the harness, but like I said, these wires, when it comes to the OBS harness, they come out right here at this firewall plug, so they don't even really go that far to begin with. So in order to strip them out of that harness, and then reintegrate them in with this harness, that just would have been a real, you know, a lot of extra work. So I ended up just going with this route both of these legs of the harnesses will be ran down to the transmission anyway. This one will be plugged into the actual 
uh, solenoid end and the business end of the transmission. This one will just be for the uh, neutral park safety switch and all that jazz. So we're all good there. Now we can go ahead and move on from there. All right, you guys, so what I got going on now is I got the engine harness here on the bench and I've got this plug here that I've renamed the C420 connector. I'm gonna go ahead and take these 12 wires from the engine harness. I'm gonna go ahead and assign them to individual wires from this connector here. Get them connected, get them soldered up, and get them taped. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this end with the OBS harness. So stick around. Alright, so I got all the wires terminated and I made a little chart here with a pinout assignment. Pretty much tells me which colors of the wires on the plugs are going to which color of the wires on the harness. So I'll always have something to go back and visually reference if I ever need to. And now I just got to go ahead and solder these up and then do the same thing to this end of the plug to the OBS harness. Alright guys, so I got this side taken care of and this is going to be for our engine side of the harness and now all I got to do is get this one attached to the truck side of the harness. All right, so I got this plug all wired up, and as you can see, I don't know if you guys could tell in the beginning through the time lapse, but for the pins where I needed two of the same wires for the constant and the uh, uh, key hot, I just made a little jumper wire and spliced it in, so I gotta solder those in. Now the only wire that I have left is this vehicle speed sensor, and I labeled it VSS Cruise. So I'm not 100% what I do with this wire, um, I remember, I believe, reading that you splice it in with the speedometer wire, but before I go ahead and do that and solder everything and make it permanent, I'm going to go ahead and do some reading and make sure that that is, in fact, the case. Um, but yeah, pretty much now, I got the truck harness. Over here, I got the engine harness. And I'm going to go through and verify all the connections, but now when it comes time to plugging everything in, it'll just be as simple as plugging it in and everything will function. And if I, like I said, if I ever need to, you know, remove the engine and harness or anything like that, I won't have to butcher a bunch of wires. I'll just have to unplug the C420 connector and uh, call it good. All right, so one thing that I wanted to mention and point out is pin 49 on your red connector is for your vehicle speed output 128k and this is actually for your ABS this ties into your uh, ABS wire on your OBS harness if you plan on keeping your ABS when I was doing the pin out you know I seen that it was labeled in yellow so I just went ahead and removed it and didn't even think anything about it but then after I thought about it a little bit and as I was uh, you know connecting uh, those bulkhead connectors to the ends of our harness, you know, I had an ABS wire left over and that's when I remembered this about this guy here So just figured I'd point that out if you plan on keeping your ABS Keep uh, pin 49 on your red or your uh, green connector And yeah, you tie that in with your ABS and then your ABS will work
All right, so I got both ends of our connectors soldered in and taped up, and those are good to go there. And while I was at it, I went ahead and ran this purple wire here all down and around and through the harness here. And that's gonna that comes out right here for our engine coolant temp sensor. And uh, when we get the tr uh, harness installed in the truck, we're gonna have to get an adapter plug to adapt this to a new three wire sensor for our gauge to work. But other than that, everything's good to go there. Oh, I also went ahead and relabeled all the wires, so in case I ever have to go in and troubleshoot and diagnose anything. You know, granted I have everything written down here. If I don't have that written down with me, you know, I'll be able to at least, you know, troubleshoot at a glance. And once it's all loomed up, you won't be able to see any of this anyway. It's going to look a lot nicer when it's all finalized and loomed and taped, but... Anyway, moving on, all I got to worry about now is terminating these three key hots here, which I explained earlier. I'm going to be using the uh, OBS, you know, factory fuses. I'm going to be using this Ignition E, this ECM1, and this ENG1, 10 amp, 20 amp, and a 20 amp, and I think I'm going to switch that to a uh, 10 amp. And all this fuse in my, uh, in my fuse box, all it was doing was a... Uh, AC relay control which I'm pretty much deleting my air conditioning anyway so I went ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and just probably put a 20 amper in there and call that good and uh yeah then I'm gonna go ahead and just get all these soldered up and we'll go from there well, all right you guys I finally got all my key hots and my starter wire all sorted out and terminated and soldered into these plugs here so I think that we're good to go there I thought I was recording it time lapse when I was doing all this, but apparently I didn't hit the button. But it is what it is. I, you know, all I had to do was just solder some wires in. I mean, you guys have seen me do that. So, pretty much got all my injectors on one fuse, MAF sensor, O2 sensor, and all that stuff on another fuse, coils, and PCM on another one. So, all right, so we got both of our harnesses meaning the truck side of the harness and the engine side of the harness all finalized and loomed and taped up and it looks really nice so like i said earlier when it comes time to install it i'll just have to plug in all these connectors here and everything should work uh these are for the gauges and the stuff like that and these are for uh you know the key hops as you can see i used the male end on one side and a female on the other so when it comes time to plug in both ends then you won't have to worry about getting those mixed up now I mentioned in a previous video that I also added the uh, I re-added pin 49 back into the red connector for my ABS output to feed the uh, ABS input on the on the truck side of the harness. So I uh, figured I'd mention that again. And I also went ahead and ran re-ran uh, that purple wire that I mentioned earlier for the uh, coolant temp sensor. So literally everything I need is just in these plugs here. So when it comes time to you know getting everything ready and plugged in everything should work just fine so so what i am going to start working on now i suppose is reinstalling the truck side of the harness in the truck so let's go ahead and get that knocked out real quick 